enough is generally followed by two bold enough to something would have been the right usage besides so that is not correct and so as to is also not correct the correct usage is so cause that effect or so cause as to effect for example here you see so cause as to effect or so cause that effect so choices d and e can go similar problem with b also so bold they so cause as to effect or so cause that effect would be correct here you directly have they neither as to nor that has come so b can also go it's between a and c now and the main difference is of tense this is simple present tense represent and this one is present perfect tense the information presented is permanent in nature and a hint here is that the following part of the sentence also uses simple present tense so choices which use anything other than simple present tense can be comfortably eliminated choice b choice c use incorrect tenses let's confirm choice a in the years such and such it's a modifying phrase that modifies artists a and b stunt the word of art with something and this is a modifying phrase that modifies the following part of the sentence the features of which as in the features of such and such paintings are so bold the features are so bold this is the cause as to the effect the effect is represent what most art historians consider something another merit in choice a is that it avoids any pronoun error choices b c and d use they see they can refer to features to paintings artists so answer choice a maintains the so cause as to effect usage it avoids the pronoun error seen in choices b c d it avoids the enough so usage seen in choices d and e and most importantly it uses the correct tense simple present tense for information which is permanent in nature the answer choice also avoids any wordiness awkwardness seen in some of the answer choices and therefore a is the correct answer choice